Alright, so this is Raven's Cry. I didn't think this game actually exists, but here it is. It actually released sometime within my lifetime. So we're going to go ahead and give it a shot and see how it turns out. We're going on easy way. Captain, Chris, we got him. Get them into their posts. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, so straight in the game. Gotcha. So, Ray, it looks pretty. Cutscene looks bad, but the. So, well, this looks pretty decent, actually. Maybe it'll be a better Risen, because I, I beat Risen 3 and I hated it. But maybe this will be good. Maybe this will be the, uh, you know, ri the better of the pirate games. Not really many pirate games, though, are there? Okay, this is already my most hated game of the year. Already. I've died twice the very first ship. Twice. Oh my, I can't... I can't even think straight at this moment. I'm already... The pirate ship combat is terrible. It is terrible. I kind of think it'd be like Assassin's Creed, but it, it's, it feels a little similar. But Assassin's Creed was really good at giving you an idea. You could miss shots and stuff, sure, but you had a good idea where to improve your aim. The ship controls were, you know, they were clunky because they were a ship in water, but they worked. They were pretty responsive. This is... Oh my god. I can't even... I, I really want to go back to Life is Strange again and watch that girl get hit by a football over and over. I am completely just unenthralled with the boat combat. Maybe everything else is better, but I am absolutely just sick and tired of this game already. And it's only the first fight. I'm doing this is my third time doing it on easy. Like, I I don't know if it's me right now. If I'm just not, if I'm just, it's you know just having one of those days. But oh man, I am just. I mean, I was look, kind of looking forward to it because it was looking. You know, the cutscene looked bad, but the end game stuff looks pretty decent. And I was, oh my, I just couldn't, I couldn't fathom it. I can't even save, so I have to continually redo this over and over again. Oh my god. I couldn't even aim, aim that time, but that was whatever. Oh, the one time it, I hit uh, like that, and it's like nearly perfect. That's wonderful. I don't even know what to, I don't even know what to say. Last two times, I could literally the cannons would not act actively hit the ship, and now I am getting, and now I've destroyed it in three. Let's choose San Juan. Okay. Oh, that was just... That was terrible. That was... Oh. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Maybe it was just... I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't feeling it those first two times. I don't know. I don't feel like I did anything different. The cannons would just... The balls don't themselves would never Chris. hit. This Torado asshole isn't going to play us straight. I'm telling you, something's off about this whole deal. 
why you kill one of his own people. It doesn't make sense. We can't trust him. Calm down, Marcus. You know I don't trust anyone. There's no way I'm going to let this slime bag slip away without paying me. So lead the way. Yeah, I know. But this is bad business. A man willing to kill his own people for personal gain is no kind of man at all. Let's get what we're owed, and then call it quits with him. Perhaps I'm just getting too old for this kind of bullshit. Yeah, I'm gonna... No, I don't want to quit. I want to... I really can't put settings up. Back, load. It won't let yeah, me use settings. Back in Saint Lucia, it's it just skips straight to. Oh. I wouldn't put subtitles to you on here, but out. You know, I guess not. It's been a long time since you visited home, Chris. Lip sync is really bad. <laughs> and what would I do there? Keep you. It still looks pretty good. I like the aesthetic a lot. Sure. I really do. I think the aesthetic's pretty good. Saint Lucia, well enough. It's a little choppy, frame rate wise. It seems like. It feels wrong. a little choppy. You remember Captain Franz Peterson? He came by recently for his uh, supplies. He's been asking for you. Says he has a problem we could use your help with. Dutchmen drink like fools, but Franz is a reliable man. Not like that Spanish dog, Torado. We're close. Keep your blade ready. Maybe it was because I was in the dialogue. I don't know. I'm in the middle of dialogue. It's a weird thing though. I've not seen too much. Oh yeah, this guy look, totally looks trustworthy. Cutscenes are a little bit uh, not as choppy as they were in that opening one. That's good. It might just be an isolated occurrence. And again, I really do like this visual aesthetic they've got going on. I see you brought one of your colleagues. So... How was your trip? I'm not complaining. Mm. And how is Shusalud? How is our friend? Busy exploring the bottom of the sea. You know, I tend to steer clear of places like this. Pirates, murders, horse, depravity and filth. Everywhere you look. Everything that's wrong with this city all gathered in one place. I kept my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. On the other hand, if you can rely on anyone in this city, it's you people. Greed makes you predictable. It makes you malleable. With the promise of money, you animals would gut your own mothers, wouldn't you? <laughs> Lucky for you, I don't share your high Spanish morals. If I did, I wouldn't be able to kill your fellow officer for you, would I? Now give me my money. Indeed. Do you know, another benefit of dealing with your kind is that you're so easily used, then tossed away. Christopher Raven, you stand accused of murdering an officer of the Spanish Navy. The penalty for your crime is death. You're gonna regret this, Toronto. Kill him! Why would not just pay him and then... It seems like such a... There's more of them coming. Hold the door. I'll take care of them. Got it. the door Chris we're going to have to split up and meet at the harbor go upstairs and try to find a way out I think I saw a balcony up there and what about you don't worry I'll figure something out besides they're not after me 
Aren't you lucky? See you on the other side. Okay, let's see. It's loot, I guess. I'll upgrade here in a second. What a dignified way to die. Humbled over looking at that. I don't get why villains are always so cartoonish, or a lot of villains are so cartoonishly evil. You get more flies, or well, I guess flies not really. You could probably get more flies with rotting meat, but the, you know, you get the gist. Use appropriate bait. Pay him here, you know, when he's not in public, or you know. the salary of crew and officers uh, affecting their morale. Let's do that. Seems like something to upgrade. Left trigger to run. Yeah, I want to quit. I didn't. Hmm. How do I get out of here? Ah. Stab them through the door. Okay, so... Yay, I get to do this again. Mm. Combat needs something. It's very... I, I don't know how to describe... Light? I, I, that's a weird descriptive thing to use, but it's, it feels... I don't feel like I'm making the impact when I use it. Stealth works okay, oddly enough. The looting is a little bit annoying because sometimes it doesn't fully work. It does look like the worlds are going to be, uh, like the hub town stuff are going to be fairly open. If that's the case, that's good. Uh, this, I think, is classified as an RPG and not like just a straight up action game. So, which are, RPGs obviously have action, but I'm more of the lines of thinking this might be more Raven's Cry than, or Raven's Cry, it might be more Risen than Black Flag, for example. Maybe. Jolly good show. See, I'm trying here. I'm trying to loot. It takes a little bit, though, sometimes. Sometimes your character doesn't want to get into the correct position. Some of these enemies are kind of stupid. And see, he wa I held X and he just walks all the way forward. I don't know why. Go this way, maybe? Can't, nope. Can't go that way. Yeah, I'm 
saving it just in case. Scarce, Marcus split up, escaped the sea separately. I have to find my way to the docks and look for Marcus. I have to find him on the docks. So I need to look for him, I guess. I feel as though I'm getting a little mixed messages here as far as. Like, oh yeah, it'd totally be a good idea to go out into the docks. I'm probably going to die, too. Do I need to swim out to the ship? Said, look for math. Okay. Well, that went well. I guess no, we should avoid in. San Juan for a while. Agreed. Might be a good time to visit home after all, eh? At least until you decide to murder another officer of the Navy. Hey, what, what's going on, eh? You sent a bitch is trying to steal my ship, eh? That's what's going on. Nope. You're... you're not? No, everything's good here. Lay back down and get some sleep. Oh. Thanks. Hmm. Marcus. Set sail for St. Lucia. Found something interesting during the fight. Hmm. Found something? And here I thought we were fighting for our lives. It looked to me like you were trying to save your own neck. My neck? Seemed to remember saving yours a few times back there. <laughs> when I was wrestling with one of those bastards, this coat ripped loose. Mm. It's a note. Mm. It says they're looking for a man named Lancaster. Lancaster? The weapons dealer? I don't know another one. Mm. Man's got his fingers in every pie in the Caribbean. But if this is true, he's staying in Bridgetown now. Seems that's where our friend Torado is going to be looking for him. Bridgetown, eh? Yeah. If you're looking to get even, confront him there. Better there than in the Spaniards' own backyard. Less messy that way. I got business in Barbados. A large group of my people are gathering soon, and I should be there. A gathering? I thought you were talking about taking some time off. Guess my bears will have to take care of themselves for a while longer. But you're right. We've been on the run for so long. I've almost forgotten what normal life on land looks like. No offense to you, of course, Christopher. You're a grown man. You can make your own decisions. That's nice of you to notice. So what will you do? Mm. Are you heading to Bridgetown? 
Deport royal whores, give you the burning drip. This Dorado, I won't let him off my hook. But I'll give you a ride to Barbados. Least I could do for you saving my neck. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm parched. Tavern? First sensible thing you've said all day. Lead on. So we need to go to the bar, and I'm already, like, dying, and... Listen, I said sorry. I didn't mean to spill it on your shoes. Sure. I understand, you little fuck. Let me show you how much I understand. Now that was just completely and totally uncalled for. Completely uncalled for. And see, now you died. Now you and your friends are dead. All because you had to kill that one guy. You're even dead in a humiliated position. Well, was it worth it? See a place to sit. Come on. So you were saying? Mm, nothing beats a frosty mug after a good fight. I'm just happy to be alive. You're thinking about Hammerhead Harry upstairs, aren't you? I'm thinking of any way we can get ourselves a new ship, Chris. Oh, look at that. No actual dialogue. Go ahead, but that's still chicken feed, Chris. The only way to make enough money to buy a new ship is with a ship. See the problem there? A damn moneylender. Believe me, I'm not at all that fond of them either. But there isn't much else we can do. We'll figure something out, Marcus. We should be counting our blessings, Chris. Lady Luck isn't always going to spread her legs for us like she did back then. I don't know. Lady Luck's letting you, um, you know, talk without actually moving your mouth in any sort of discernible manner. Of course, Mr. Donovan. Long time no see. You remember Marcus? So, what's going on? Uh, like, what? What? Is there something wrong with the game? Does do half the people just not talk? Do we? Regretting Is our character like Deadpool and them. breaks fourth wall and can read subtitles? There's no, there's no mu noise coming out of his mouth. It's just. No one forced you to join him, Donovan. It's a captain's right and privilege to do as he pleases. As long as he's filling your bellies and your pockets. Ours is not an easy lot in life, Donovan. Reminds me of how things went down in William's ship. 
Yeah. That was a damn powder keg waiting for a spark. You're thinking a challenge? By the rules of the coast, blade versus blade, it would keep me from having to deal with that bastard hammerhead, Harry. But taking him out won't make the crew yours. Will they follow you? What is going on with half the dialogue not actually being something that exists within our physical realm? You is there another game that the dialogue is actually occurring in? Ship. So, Chris, it seems you've got another option. What do you think? too keen on being in anyone's debt. I'll take care of Captain Terrell. Sticking a blade in a man's back is easier than dealing with a damn lone shark. That's for sure. Likewise, Donovan. Fair enough, Donovan. If you see me coming, make sure the crew stands aside. See? A cold beer solves most of life's problems. Yeah. What's bothering you? So where do I find Terrell? Well, Donovan mentioned the docks, so th that's where I'd start. If not right outside, then perhaps at the far end of the pier. Just go left after leaving the inn. It's, it's not far. I'll be on my way, Marcus. Stay vigilant. I always am. You watch yourself, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> 